What's going on, everybody? I'm going to try to be very fast with this message, but uh, I'm just going to speak and, uh, and I end it whenever the Holy Spirit tells me to stop. Okay, so just a minute ago, you know, I, this thought was deposited into my head. It was more so of a question. The question was, when did Jesus stop being enough? When did Jesus stop being enough? Um, I am so irritated. I am so irritated in my spirit. It seems as if we're living in a day and age where everybody wants to be popular. Everybody wants to be known. Um, and so it's becoming more about the messenger than the message. It's like there has been a division is where it's like this lying, like this dividing factor where it's more about the messenger than the message. Um, the gospel of Jesus Christ is the message. The gospel of Jesus Christ is infallible. The gospel of Jesus Christ it's the only thing that is going to bring restoration to souls and restoration to the lost and redemption to the lost and salvation to the lost. But it has became so much more now about the messenger, who's speaking it, who's presenting it. And it's not even about Christ anymore. And it's like everybody sees um, this as an opportunity, as a way to promote themselves, to boost up themselves or to boost up their egos. And it seems as if now Christ is not enough. Like people want popularity. People want popularity. People want um, um, YouTube success, Instagram success, uh, TikTok success. And it's almost like it's becoming more about the messenger than the message, which is Jesus Christ is the message. That Jesus Christ can bring salvation to the lost. That Jesus Christ can bring eternal life. That's the message. But it has become so much more about the messenger than the message. Um, God has me in a different lane this season. Um, I'm working with a lot of lost people, but it's really in it's really in it for a secular organization. And, and what I see more is that there are so many lost people. There are so many lost people in the world and it's almost like I can pretty much try to give an analogy. It's almost like there is a, it's, it's almost like we're living in a desert um, and people need water. Pre people need um, to be nurtured, but yet they don't have anything to provide them. Any They don't have anyone and they don't even know where the source of the water is, but Jesus Christ is that living water. And it's almost like, we have to tell people and we have to tell the lost that I will articulate and say that this world is, it can be equivalent to a desert. We have to be able to tell the lost about Christ. But yet I feel like we're living in such a day and age where we really don't even care whether the lost people want Christ. We want the lost people to know who we are. And so we, we make our whole ministries and we make everything about ourselves. Um, what I'm seeing now on YouTube, I feel as if the body of Christ and I feel like the church is trying to mimic the world. Um, I see a lot of uh, reaction videos, reaction to this, uh, so much talking about what is going on in the secular world. And I'm like, what are we doing, body of Christ? What are we doing? Why are we spending so much of our time being so concerned about what is going on in the world? Um, we as the church, we supposed to be bringing the kingdom of God into the world. But I feel as if we as the body of Christ is bringing the secular world into the kingdom of God. And I feel like that is completely backwards. And I don't even know where we're going. I don't even know where we're headed. Um, we have this infatuation with the world. And I feel like um, I, I'm starting to see that a lot of people, and I'm saying particularly on, on these little social media um, things like 
YouTube and Facebook and TikTok. It's almost like we're trying to figure out the science and we're trying to figure out the algorithms of what is going on in the world so that we can get more success. And that's completely backwards. That's completely I, I, that's completely wrong, Christ, in the body of Christ. That is completely wrong. Um, what I have seen in the last decade, man, I, 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 it's completely disgusting to me. I'm seeing um, Christians and I'm seeing people who profess and uh, proclaim to be Christians. They spend all of their time and their energy talking about things that are going on in the world. They're doing like, like I said again, they're doing reaction videos. It's almost like I would say it's almost more uh, reaction videos. They're, they're, they're almost like borderline uh, gossiping about what is going on in the world. And sometimes what is going on with other believers. It's almost like it's a, a, a Wendy Williams type of show, uh, but it's a Christian, like a, a Christian w Wendy Williams type of show type of thing going on where everybody wants to talk about what is going on with other believers and what is going on in the world. And I feel like people are doing this because they have became addicted uh, to the praise of people. People are doing this because they're becoming addicted to the likes and to the loves and to the attention that these particular type of subject areas would give them. And I feel like when did Christ stop being enough? When did the gospel stop being enough? Why, why are we going into like this whole nother atmosphere and this whole nother arena? And I don't feel like this is what God is calling many of us to do. Um, I don't want to make this video long, but I feel like I still haven't even touched down on what I really truly want to say. Um, we, I truly believe that, uh, and I, and I study a lot about the brain and the chemistry and what goes on in, in the brain. And I truly believe that a lot of Christians are becoming addicted to the praise and to the attention of other people. They, they are becoming addicted to the praise and the attention of other people. And that addiction is preceding Christ now in their minds and in their heads and in their spirits, that addiction and that attention and that influence is preceding Christ. So when did Christ stop being enough? Um, I feel as if we want to take Christ off the throne so that we can sit on the throne, the throne that Christ is on. But that's equivalent to what the devil wanted, right? You know, the devil was kicked out of heaven because of his pride. The devil was kicked out of heaven because he wanted to exalt himself above God. And many of us, we're trying to exalt ourselves above Christ because now we're seeking attention and we're seeking praise from men. But that praise and that attention should be going toward Jesus. I feel as if we want the fame. We want we want we want everything. We want the glory. We want we want all the things that belongs to God. But we're doing this in a very covert way. We're saying that we're about Christ, but we're really about ourselves. And, and you can see it because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you people, just because people got thousands and thousands of subscribers, doesn't mean that, 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 that doesn't mean that's fruit. Do not get subscribers, do not get numbers mixed with fruit. Please don't. That's the most deceptive thing that, that can ever happen to you. If you start believing that subscribers and, and followers and all that stuff is fruit, because it's not. For the Bible says that narrow is the way to life. And very few find it. Very few find it. So you, you think about all these pastors and all these ministers. They got all these thousands and, and millions of followers. Are all of them saved? Are all of them saved? Because scripture said that narrow is the way to life. And very few people find it. But yet you, you have these pastors and you have these ministers that talk about all these little um popular and trending little subjects and they get so much attention and then they subscribers and all that stuff goes up and they say i got fruit i got fruit can't you see my fruit can you see what i'm doing these people that's fruit it's not fruit see what is going on in the body of christ is that we're so fascinated with the things of this world we're so fascinated with the things of this world a lot of us haven't even been completely delivered from the world itself and so there's there's going to be that fascination. And then when we see things that are trending and we see things that are popular, we, 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 we want to follow that. 
we're not we don't want to follow Jesus. We want to follow whatever's trending. We want to follow whatever's popular popular. We will neglect. We will neglect the gospel of Christ just to go after something that is trending, just to go after something that is popular. Why? Because we are we are seeking attention. We're seeking validation and we're seeking praise from men. That's the same thing. That the, that's why the devil was cast out of heaven, because the devil wanted that praise. The devil wanted that attention. And a lot of us are victim to that. A lot of us are victim to that. We have that same mentality as Satan. Can't y'all see that? This, this is beginning. This is getting out of line. It's like, when did Christ stop being enough? When did Christ stop being enough? When did the gospel stop being enough? If, if somebody want to talk about the gospel of Jesus Christ, if somebody want to talk about the ministry of Jesus Christ, people are not even going to be attracted to that. But, it, the, the, but the moment you start talking about demons and the moment that you start talking about the rapture and the moment that you start talking about this person went to hell, this celebrity went to hell, everybody want to, everybody want to see this. Everybody want to hear this. But the moment somebody want to talk about Jesus and his ministry and what he can do for somebody, nobody don't want, nobody don't want to listen to that. So they're starting, to, they're starting to show me that we are seeking an experience. There, that, that there is something psychologically going on with us. That, that we want to feel like this sensation. That we want to be us. We, 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 we want to be trendy. We, we want to go after what's trendy. We want to go after what's popular. We want to go after what's sensational. And all that stuff is of the flesh. It's not of the spirit. It's not of the spirit, it's of the flesh. And a lot of people can't see that. A lot of people don't have the discernment to see what is going on in the body of Christ. When did Jesus stop being enough? When did the gospel stop being enough? I'm asking this question because it's serious. We, we are deviating. We are deviating from the gospel. We're deviating from the gospel of Jesus Christ just to go after, just to talk about trendy stuff. There are so many YouTubers, so many TikTokers who claim to be part of the body of Christ. They claim to be part of the body of Christ. But they neglected the gospel of Christ. They neglected the good news to go after things that are trendy, to go after the things that are popular because they want the praise, they want the attention, they want the clout. And it's not of Christ. Christ needs to be number one. Christ has to be number one. Jesus Christ said, if any man wants to follow me, he must pick up his cross, deny himself. A lot of us are not denying ourselves. We're not denying ourselves. When you deny yourself, you have to deny every aspect of yourself. A lot of us, we still want, to, we still want attention. We still want praise. My people, it is this it, this is becoming out of hand. And I'm just praying that um, this message will, will reach somebody, somebody. I don't care if it just reach one soul. If, if you if you're a believer of Jesus Christ, it's not about subscribers. It's not about followers. What you should be more concerned about is how many people follow Jesus, not how many people follow you. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. There is nothing that we can offer anybody if Christ is, is, is not that. Christ has to be what we offer people. We, we don't have anything in us that is good. Now, if the Holy Spirit dwells in us, it's the Holy Spirit. He's the one that's doing the work through us. But a lot of us, we, we we are trying so hard to do things without Christ. And in the end, that's what it's called. It's vain glory. It's vain glory. It's vain glory. God can, God can detect this stuff in our hearts. God knows whether or not we're trying to serve him with pure intentions and a pure heart or whether we're just trying to serve him so that we can be more popular, so that we can be more famous, so that we can get, we can be validated and praised. Do not go the way of Satan, my people. 
I feel as in, I feel it in my spirit. So many of us in the body of Christ are, are going the way of the devil. I got I'm got I got to end this message. But Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, and God will not share His glory with no one. Not even you. Do not try to take the glory which belongs to God. Do not try to take the glory which belongs to God. When Jesus Christ comes back, he's going to divide the sheep from the goats. Do not be one of the goats, my people. Do not be one of the goats. See, the, this pagan world, this pagan society that, that we're living in, it wants, it wants the popularity, it wants the fame, it wants the respect, it wants the power. That's all the things of the devil. That's all the things of the adversary. When has Christ stopped being enough? Why, why are we desiring what the whole world desires? The whole, everybody wants power. Everybody wants respect. Everybody wants to be popular. Everybody wants to be recognized. But when did Christ stop being enough? Because when you have Christ, you're supposed to have everything. Christ is just, Christ isn't some type of cherry that you put on the top of a cake. Christ is everything. He's absolute. So when did he stop being enough? For some reason, the devil has gotten into our heads. He convinced us that Christ is not enough. There's more that we need to do. There's more that we need to be. There's more that we need to accomplish. When did Christ stop being enough? Ask yourself that question. Oh, I pray that this message may reach somebody in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. Peace.